Hello, everyone, and welcome to the pilot episode of our new podcast from Anywhere Club. I'm Hermiona, and together with my co-host, Ron, we'll be bringing you the most significant news from the world of AI on a monthly basis. That's right, Hermiona. And for those who don't know, Anywhere Club is the best place for tech specialists to grow, develop, and consume useful, relevant tech content. Absolutely. We encourage all of our listeners to visit the club's website at aw.club, register, and become a full-fledged club member. Now let's dive into today's topics. Ron, have you heard about the new Inflection 2.5 model that is being touted as a potential competitor to GPT-4? Yes, Hermiona, I have. Inflection AI claims their new model has significantly improved cognitive abilities, especially in STEM fields, thanks to unique empathy-focused training. However, from what I understand, it still lags behind GPT-3.5 in handling less common languages. Plus, the lack of internet connectivity and an API puts its competitiveness with leading LLMs into question. I agree, those seem like major limitations in today's AI landscape. While emotional intelligence is certainly important, practical functionality is crucial for widespread adoption. Speaking of AI pioneers, it looks like there have been some major leadership shakeups at OpenAI recently. Sam Altman is back on the board of directors after a controversial ousting attempt. What are your thoughts on that situation, Ron? It's a very strange and secretive situation. The investigation by Wilmer Hale didn't reveal much about the reasons behind the attempted removal of Altman, only that it wasn't due to financial or product issues at OpenAI. I'm also concerned about the precarious position of Ilya Sutzgaber, their chief scientist. Losing him could be a big blow to the company. Absolutely. Leadership stability and retaining top talent will be key for OpenAI to maintain its competitive edge. On a different note, I wanted to discuss a troubling use of AI and drone technology. Apparently, some hobbyists in the U.S. managed to program an inexpensive DJI Tello quadcopter to identify and stalk individuals based on just a single photo. It really highlights the potential for abuse as these powerful technologies become more accessible. Ron, what are your concerns about this kind of application? It's definitely worrying, Hermiona. Being able to easily weaponize cheap off-the-shelf drones for targeted surveillance or even physical attacks on individuals is a serious public safety issue. As AI gets more sophisticated and miniaturized, I think we'll unfortunately see more and more examples of unethical use by bad actors. Robust regulations and safeguards need to be put in place. I couldn't agree more. Well, we covered quite a bit of ground today from the latest in language models to some of the challenges in responsible AI deployment. Before we wrap up, I want to remind our listeners to visit the Anywhere Club website at aw.club, register and become a member. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give this podcast a like. Absolutely. Joining Anywhere Club is a fantastic way to stay up to date with the latest in tech and connect with like-minded professionals. Thank you so much for sharing your insights today, Hermiona. And thanks to our listeners for tuning in. We'll be back with another fascinating discussion next month. Always a pleasure, Ron. Yes, thanks everyone for listening. We covered some really thought-provoking developments today. I look forward to our next conversation. Until then, stay curious.